Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. If you want to learn how to make a beautiful smoked salmon like this on a portable smoker, y'all stay tuned. start prep on the salmon all we're going to do to it is give it a quick little cure I like mine slightly cured not fully cured so this uh, does still have the skin on okay um, I'm gonna leave that skin on there I am gonna give it a few little scores just very lightly with very sharp knife this is our Michelangelo chef knife that's going to help a little bit of the cure get in there on this side. If you like to check out this knife, I'm going to leave you a link right down in the description box where you can buy it on Amazon. It has certainly been the best knife I've ever owned. I've still yet to have okay. to sharpen it. Now he's going to come in with a little bit kosher sea salt. Do that on both sides. It's going to help to draw some of the moisture out and firm it up. Right, I don't like mine too salty, so it looks about right. Just a good, pretty good coating, not that much. Now, we're going to come in just with some white sugar. Give that a good coat. both sides now I want to want to go ahead and give it a little season at this time too but now just a little bit of black pepper that's it all right now the best thing to do here as this moisture drains off it's gonna puddle so I like to just take one end of the pan I'll take a, like a spatula handle stick it up under there so you got a little downhill on it so any moisture that comes out will run down to the end of the pan let it hang out a couple hours. Okay, folks, what we have here is is the uh, Ziv's Portable Smoker. I uh, got this for Christmas. Um, and so thanks to one of my nephews and, uh, and a good subscriber of mine for a long time. And everything inside is what we're going to need. To smoke the salmon so I put some barb some uh, some wood chips in here uh, these are some Jack Daniels whiskey barrel chips give them a try just put them in a bag that we pack it up go to camp go where you're gonna fish and got everything right inside so there's a few parts to it but it, it's not that hard to put together so you have four pieces of your your top you have two larger pieces and then there's two smaller pieces and I don't think it matters that much how you start which if you lay them flat together you see the tab there and then there's a notch there just lay them together until the tab goes in and then pull it back just like that now you already got half of your top okay now this one here has the locks you see these little slide locks that's what's going to hold it all together so we do that one last then we got a big side little side here's another little side just lay it in and fold it out all right now you're left with the four tabs sticking forward we'll lay the piece with the locks on there so all the four tabs come through it's kind of hard to do this and show you what I'm doing but we'll lock in this side since it's in already maybe easier to do it one at a time there you go and then put that one in now you have your whole dome for your smoker built right there all right we'll set that aside now you have the the uh, this is the bottom 
bottom portion and it also has a few parts so what we're going to do is go ahead and take those parts out and move this box out of the way so your heavy piece this is your bottom you probably want to start with that down at the bottom first okay so i had to remember myself um so you just lay it just like the uh, with the other pieces there lay it down flat till it hooks and then stand it up okay you do that on both sides lay it down flat till it falls through the slots and then stand it up all right and you got a you got a front here it's got a little hole in it so you can feed it and that just slides down and encompasses those two things and you got holes you might have to make sure they're on the, standing on the upside which they all are all right now we have the rails that are going to hold it together and hold our grill and i really really wish it would have been a small improvement if they had to tack welded these or made it just a stud because this is a loose part you're going to drop that into dirt somewhere at camp and you're not going to find it and so if i have any criticism about this so far I'm using it just the first first time um, is that these are loose parts which could have been very easily corrected if they had just made them a little longer which i probably will get some longer screws where i could put a back nut on them and um you know that's tightened down that won't uh, so the stud the, the bolt part itself won't fall out that's what we'll probably do we'll make that little modification to it depending on how well you guys like this video so if you like the video and you like seeing stuff like this I'm always uh, coming up with ways to improve things one of these days maybe a uh, some of these see as uh, you know, try to get it in there and they just fall out it makes this is the only pain in the butt really part of putting this thing together is that these little screws they just fall out I can live with the wing nut thing but I'm sure they could have come up with some better way I said we'll we'll trade these out with some longer longer screws and it'll still work the same it'll just inset these two rails then the width of the nut whatever the thickness of the nut is all right now you got a little temperature gauge there it goes in the top or you unscrew it there's a hole right here for it just stick that through put the wing nut on from the inside alrighty now the lid goes on forgot the grill the grill goes on there the lid goes on like that and we're almost ready to cook it does also come with a uh, handle that fits uh, on this lock side here I guess you just slide it up under there like that and it, it can hold it so All right, so here's a setup <laughs> um, we've got our portable smoker all assembled and you can use it on any heat source today we're going to use it on the little sportsman's grill just so we can do it here in the studio it's going to work just as well on a controlled campfire you can uh, you know put you a couple rocks down and get you a nice bed of coals going under there you can run it on a propane uh camp stove or the good old-fashioned uh like a coleman camp stove i actually ran the first test of this unit on an old camp stove that i've had for years so we're going to do it on sportsman's grill today and just set it up on top we got a little bit of charcoal, just enough to get some small wood started, and we're going to keep that wood going up underneath it until we get, uh, get the smoker up to temperature.
salmon cure for about maybe an hour and 15 minutes. I took it inside, I washed it with clean cold water to get the excess salt and sugar off of it. And then I re-vacuum packed it and put it back in the fridge, let it rest, and that's, you know, you get that cure off of it, then what has gone into meat will keep going into the meat, but you won't be getting any more. So since this is just for, for a fresh consumption, not for a long-term storage, if you're going to cook it fresh and eat it fresh, or you're going to smoke it and eat it the same day or within a couple of days, you can do that brine, uh, you know, just very lightly. I uh, don't have any dill. If I did, I would definitely be putting some of that on there. This is some fresh thyme. I'm going to pick the little fronds off of there. All right, so season it however you like, or what it, what it, with what you like. Here, just black pepper, a little bit of thyme, good to go. We'll make the fish the star. We don't want to put any salt on here now because we already, uh, remember we did that dry brine process. So there's a fair amount of salt in there already. So you can see that baby's, it's puffing pretty good right now. And uh, we got her up on that sportsman's grill. Got that fire going underneath. Those first couple of logs are starting to burn down a little bit. It's coming up on about 175, 180 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our fish. All right, so the other thing is you definitely wanna follow the directions uh, that come with this unit. It tells you to, to fire it up for at least 30 minutes ahead of uh, your first cook. It does have some barbecue black paint on it. And you're gonna want that to burn off before you put your first, do your first cooking on it. So we'll look in there, we might, uh, looks pretty good there, but might spray that grill with a little bit of spray just to keep our skin from sticking. All right, guys, let's go ahead and just lay our nice plank of salmon right on top. It's perfect size for a tailpiece like this, which is my favorite part of the salmon to smoke. Go ahead and get the lid back on her. We'll keep an eyeball on the temperature. Okay, so actually, you know, uh, with this salmon in this particular unit, they recommend to try to keep it at a much lower temperature than you probably do it in a big smoker. Here we're gonna keep it somewhere between about 150 and 185 degrees. That's what they recommend to keep it from drying it out. So that's what we're gonna do and it's not gonna take long. We'll come back and check on it in a little bit. All right, so our temperature's running just about where I wanted it, just below 200 on that gauge now. And how we've been keeping that going is just by putting this one little piece of limb wood in at a time. Okay, and as our coals, as that one dies down, I'll put in a new one. And I got the draft door just barely cracked. This kind of the fire you want to maintain if you're going to use this on firewood on your campground, on a camp uh, campfire, just a slow, steady fire under it. You see it's smoking along there really nice. We're not going to open it up yet, but heat control is what you need to do. All right, guys, been about an hour. Go in and take a look at it, and man, it looks beautiful. You can see that starting to extrude some of these juices from the from the salmon, and that's about time I like to take it off right there. Kind of like when you're grilling it. You see that beautiful cure through there, the smoke ring. So here we'll pull it off. We'll keep it warm until we're ready to serve. So it's time for the plate, and today we're going to do this family style. That is my uh, soy wasabi uh, glaze. Y'all, if you haven't uh, hit that subscribe button yet, go ahead and do so because in the very next video, I'm going to show you how to make our soy wasabi glaze. 
it is delicious simple and easy and easy to make that is a beautiful piece of fish let's do a little garnish on it so all that needs for garnish i'm gonna go in with a little cilantro but if you had some fresh dill just go ahead and uh, give that a little bit of fresh dill that's a beautiful piece of smoked salmon done on a portable smoker and the sportsman's grill all right let's go ahead and cut into this a little bit you know this is a very rich fish um so we're gonna cut it in fairly small servings because like i said it's very very rich and i wanted you to see how moist and juicy it still is inside so yeah it's just beautiful leaving that skin on there is really the ticket oh my god that guys let's go in there and give that a try you know i said it was family style but i got the whole plate right here get a little bit of that soy wasabi mm. i tell you what that's just about as good as anything i've done on any other kind of equipment um very light smoke very moist and tender just delicious mm -hmm.